जय श्री माता जी लेट अस ऑल बाउ डाउन टू श्री माता जी रेज अवर मदर कुंडलिनी एंड पुट बंधन श्री गणेश मंत्र Let us now listen to Shri Mata Ji's speech. Many now, many of us are there, and we are increasing in number. And we are going to increase more and more, no doubt about it. You have to realize that you have become something. Not that an organization is developing, but every person inside this has got something, something very great. That has a transformation power, and hence, it is necessary for us to know that we have entered into the kingdom of God, and the laws of kingdom of God are very different from what we know. They operate in a different way, unless and until you. Really understand the operation of these laws. You cannot move properly. You have to grow. 
all of you have to grow. If you cannot grow in Sahaja Yoga, you will be wasted. So it is very important that we should try to understand the divine laws, how they operate. And whatever we have been doing so far has been responsible for our non growth So we have to give up so many things which have been detrimental to our progress. A small thing like comfort and sharing. In Sahaja Yoga I found people, they worry too much about comfort even after realization. They want to find their own comfort. They want to have their own individualities and they want to show that they are different. They are not the same as others are. If comfort becomes more important for some people, you can never grow, never grow in surgery. On the contrary, you may become a medium of all the negativity and will torture surgery by your lethargy. So try to understand that comfort actually is something that matter gives you. Comfort is the slavery of the matter. You have seen your mother, she can sleep anywhere, she can eat anything, she can live the way you all live. I have no problems, I have no demands. And you can do the same. Because this matter all the time trying to overpower you, all the time trying to overpower you, through comfort giving. If you get used to sitting on a chair, then you have to carry chair along with you, you cannot sit on the bed. A simple example I am saying. Is a certain thing that your body gets used to. And then you want to maintain your own, I must have my own separate flat or my own this thing because I must have comfort. This is one of the things that we have to understand, that we have to learn without comfort, so-called. To me, comfort has no meaning at all. It, it creeps on me. Try to teach your body how to live with uncomfortable things. Sometimes sleep on the ground, see how it works out. Try to sit on the ground. Try to use minimum of material things because they have overpowered you and you can't live without them. I have known people who have to carry folded chair at least to the seashore because they can't sit. They will get attached to a chair, I think, after some time. And like a tail, the chair would be moving with them. <laughs> the way the things are. You see. So one thing we must understand that materialism acts through comfort. That's why we should try to keep these dead things at our own command. If you want, we can have a chair. If you don't want, we'll have no chair. They are not our masters. We are their masters. We are made them. Then the second thing is about time. That maintenance of time, that we should be very punctual, we should be this and that. And that we should abuse others for that. I mean, that doesn't mean that you should never be punctual. It doesn't mean that. But what we do, we are slaves of the watch. That should not. We have to keep to certain timing because the whole world is moving with that timing. But you should not scold anybody for being late or for being not in time. Of course, our puja is all right because that's divine work, for other things. And whenever it comes to that, we should think of others. You see, how to overcome time is to think of others. For example, that we should be in time, in a place where others are not troubled by that. But we should not ask others, why are you not in time? In everything, for example, even in comfort, you should see to the comforts of others, you will overcome your idea of comfort. Because it will be such a headache looking after others' comforts that you will overcome. In the same way, you should try 
to share. People don't know how to share their things with others, share their house with others. They always want to have their privacy. They want to have their own life. They want to have their own style. It's very, very wrong. And these things can act really against Sahaja. Sharing, sharing everything that you have. Try to share. All such people who try to preserve themselves are not going to be. They have to get lost, completely lost, because what you are preserving is nothing but your ego, your material being, your material things. It doesn't mean that you break all your things that you have. It does not mean that. But you preserve it for others. You decorate your house for others to enjoy. You create comfort for others and not for yourself. This is how, if you work it out, you'll be amazed. The joy will be maximum. And you'll really rise and you'll grow. Now, when we think of others, the joy is so much, so much greater that it is surpassing all the other joys of comfort and possession. Possession is a absolute headache. If you do not possess anything, you will be not depriving yourself of anything. You will never feel a feeling that I am deprived of this because you don't possess anything. You are the monarch of the whole world. And how can anybody deprive anything out of you? Anything? So we must understand the laws that govern us now after realization. The more you try to be comfortable, The more you try to be exclusive, you get out of the grace of God. The more you try to have your own plans, the worse it is. You have to act according to the plans of God Almighty. And then you will be blessed. You will be blessed so much, but you will not know how to use your blessings. It will be so much. But do not have anything exclusive to yourself. Your comfort, your material things, your time, whatever gives you feeling of your mind, my, just get over there. For example, even the subtlest of subtle is my mother, my father, my brother, my sister, my children, my. Who are the others? Everything is your own. Then you will realize the joy of collectivity. Now people talk of socialism, communism, this, that. It's all artificial. They can never enjoy that sharing because it is forced. And these things can be of great joy to you if they are shared. The same things can be headaches. I'll give a simple example. We had a lady from England. She married an Indian. And the Indian people in that area were very funny type, very narrow-minded. They wouldn't accept her and she was not given any love. She came back to London. Now she came back to Bombay first to see me. And naturally I was very nice to her. And I didn't know what to give her, so I had a pearl necklace. Most of the things are in the bank, so I had only one pearl necklace left with me. So I said, all right, you have this one, just as a symbol of my love. Give it to her. Years passed, many years passed, you see. And after about 10 years or so, I met her in London. And she told me that, she would like to come and see me. And she brought that necklace with her. She said that this has sustained me throughout, to believe that there is love. This necklace, I would I have so many of them in my house. When I would, could have some more also. But this has given sustenance to someone for years together, to believe that there is somebody who loves you. When that necklace is so precious to her, 
to me it was not so precious it was a headache the value of that is the subtle value of that material thing it is beyond aesthetics it is love which is expressed through material things you know that whatever i touch vibrates this love is only enjoyed if it is given if i love my children only if i leave my love my grandchildren only i would not be here and gradually they also understand that the sharing is so important so the laws of divine are such that they operate in a very blissful way on the people who obey them is one as i said of sharing one of giving your comfort you should be a comfortable person to another not an uncomfortable person you should not be a difficult person to others your tongue should be such that should give great so last to others your eyes should be such that should give a very great benediction to others when you look at people people should feel that here is my security not to enjoy others but give enjoy out of you enjoyment out of you is the way you should act and then the laws of the divine work better it is easy to criticize others in sahaja yoga also people do it it's a habit with people to criticize others but if you can love others then the criticism won't be there you won't see all these points now some people may take advantage of your love i know they do but in sahaja yoga they go out such people go out very fast those who try to take advantage of sahaja yoga they go out of it so you don't have to worry there the divine laws will work it out that such people will get up but you try to love you try to love you bring down your ego you try to love others and try to be one with god and his blessings as he loves you you have to love the whole world and those who try to trouble you will be punished i tell you they will be punished but you have to be one with the divine laws and this once you realize your own problems will neutralize completely like your family problem house problem property problem this problem they will all neutralize only sometimes i find a conflict between family people your priority should be sahaja yoga sahaja yoga sahaja yoga. say a husband may not be equally interested in sahaja yoga and the wife is pulled out she should show that her interest is sahaja yoga nothing else and he'll come back he should not give way she should not give way to him and if he is so that he wants to get into sahaja yoga and share and if she objects she has no business to do that under any divine law she has no business to do that if she tries that husband need not listen to her at all he should go full ahead because ultimately he is an important part of sahaja yoga and he should not in any way make the importance less so she should go ahead with what she wants if he is a sahaja yogi he should not bother about anything his family will be blessed everybody will be blessed if he is there so any excuses that takes you away from sahaja yoga are not helpful to the family because if the deities are angry your family will be harmed if say a woman is a sahaja yogini and her family people object to it they will be harmed and she will be harmed as well but if she is in sahaja yoga all the family will be saved so you are doing a greater you are doing a greater uh, uh, what you call a greater service to your family by becoming a sahaja yogi and a true sahaja yogi and a dedicated and devoted sahaja
but no individualistic efforts, no individualistic attitude is helpful to me or to Sahaja Yoga. It's very detrimental. Under any name, under any banner, under any excuse, try to find out ways and methods of becoming one with others. If you want to find out faults with others, there can be any. I mean, I should not be here. I can say that, but I should not be on this earth. I could have said that. But I see that spirit in you, and I see that beauty in you. I don't see other things. If I had not seen that spirit, I would not have worked like this. So all such people who try to take any on their own thing will land up into difficulties. Is malignancy of Sahaja Yoga, is the cancer. People are so much used to, you see, certain ways of doing things like, you see, we Indians are, we must take a bath every day. It's true with us. I mean, one example I'm giving. Like, English are very particular about, say, maybe, uh, say, using a napkin at the time of food. Take a small thing like that. I mean, they're very, that's for them is religion. Say, we Indians are. Now, I didn't take my bath yesterday because there were so many people. I shouldn't take. If I use all the water, what will happen? And any time I'm with you people, I don't take bath till I have to have a puja. I mean, it's difficult for Indians to do that. But you can get over your habits when you say you are sharing that. But those who are inconsiderate will not understand. It is not necessary to come to puja also so much cleaned up by sharing everybody's things yourself, by having everything yourself. It's more important that you should come here with a heart which has shared the joy with everyone. Even if you have not cleaned yourself, doesn't matter. You're all right for God. But sharing is very important. And that is what I find is lacking. People will take interest in their own children, not interest in other children. They'll take interest in their own family, their homes, houses, but not in another person's houses. Try to share your labor with others also. And you'll be surprised how rewarding it is. How rewarding. And little children don't understand the difference sometimes. They don't understand who is the other. Like, we went to Delhi once, and uh, we shifted, and I cleaned the house. It was very dirty, you know, that cleaned it and decorated it and all that. So my daughter said that, why don't you go and decorate the other houses also and clean them? They are very dirty houses. They didn't understand that it is too much for their mothers. They better do it. They can't do it all right, so better do it. It's that simple for them. And this materialistic attitude, you know how, what is happening to us with that. I mean, thank God you are not like the Indians who have come here. They are very materialistic. You have got out of it. But still, in a very subtle way, it sticks on to your comfort, your idea of taking a holiday and going out for a holiday alone, you see, with your family. This is your family. Your family is large. Your mother has so many children. What to do? She has so many sons and daughters. Everything is to be shared. You will never enjoy your holiday alone. You can only enjoy with Sahaja Yogi. This is what it is. Once you start enjoying that, you'll be amazed how beautiful it is. This is what I want to tell you today in Cambridge. Because from Cambridge, people have gone all over the world. They were educated here. They went around the whole world. They are everywhere. It has circulated so much. And, but Cambridge people are very snooty, as they say. They don't want to share with anyone. Just imagine. Cambridge is a place which is meant for sharing. That's the place where they don't want to share. 
knowledge is one thing is to be only enjoyed after sharing otherwise you cannot enjoy your knowledge so share your joys and share your happiness you will be amazed all your pathos and all your unhappiness will vanish completely vanish these are all the old things of the past life forget it you have to all forget that you belong to this community or that community just learn to share the highest thing the highest material thing that is created in this world even above flowers and everything are human beings just share them just enjoy them they are the best thing for us just enjoy them this is what is necessary if you really want to obey the laws of god today i hope that this puja the heart will enlarge and that you will learn to share with that big heart just try to share your know, things share your time share your comforts share every moment of your life with others think of good things of other people you'll enjoy them if you start thinking of the thorns instead of the roses will you enjoy roses if you have to enjoy the roses you have to forget the thorns and enjoy the roses those who are wise are like that but stupid can take the thorns and just go on pricking themselves and saying that oh there are thorns the sign of wisdom is to enjoy the beauty of roses they are the most beautiful things they are all roses i see you all roses here never forget the thorns and the day will come they will not need even the thorns because they'll be so poor and there should be no groupism of any kind of intellectuals coming together non intellectuals coming together alcoholics on one side in such yoga also we have caste system just imagine then some indians are separate then english are separate then cambridge people are separate there should be no separation they are all one they are all born through our sisters they are a different community a different thing we cannot form into groups cannot form into cults cannot form into any caste we are all twice born we are the people who are born again we are different we have lost all that everything is lost you see they say there's no caste for a sanyasi for an ascetic means the one who is a realized soul there's no caste don't belong to any caste forget your problems of your country of your nation of your so called your people forget it you are different and try to pull them up to that where they also become one with the whole the whole world has to unite like this give up your small small differences and angularities may god bless you
महामंत्रास Thank you, Shamata Ji, for this beautiful meditation. Let us all bow down to Shamata Ji. This is our Mother Kundalini, Good Bandhan.
we will continue again tomorrow morning same time jai shri mataji